Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, hope you're doing well. Today I'm heading home about an hour early on a Friday because Sophie's made another purchase at BCA Bridgewater. And I thought it might be interesting to uh, pick Sophie up and get her to come along and collect this car and find out exactly what she's bought. I have to admit, actually Sophie put this in the watch list and I put a proxy bid in for her. We ended up winning it. She's always given me a lecture that I don't do my history checks on cars that she buys better cars, better MOTs, things like that. But fun enough, once again, I think, you know, that won't be the case. So the car she's bought is a, I think it's a 2012. Uh, it's a Vauxhall Antara on 100 plus thousand miles. I can't remember exactly, might be 110 plus. Good news is I think it was a grade three. Has got a pretty decent MOT on it. Let's say about 10 months. But it did have a few warnings on its kind of essential report, electrical bits. Might want to tire soon because it was close to the legal limit, but not illegal. What Sophie should have done, and I should have done really beforehand, was to do a free vehicle score check, which I have now done, which would have shown me some things that maybe would have perhaps think twice about putting in that proxy bid for her on this car. So I'm gonna put up on the screen now the vehicle score check. I'm gonna input the registration, whatever that is. I don't know off the top of my head. And it's gonna tell us how this Antara scores on a scale of one to 999, based on its age, mileage, MOT history, and many different factors that they check for you. And you'll see that this car scores three. It's awful. It's the worst score I've ever seen. If I remember right, the good points were that it had a long-term owner and the average yearly mileage was good. On the bad side was a lot of MOT things, basically. Uh, I had a couple of comments that related to a failure, saying the vehicle is over 10 years old and it's over 100,000 miles. What's more than that, if I just used the vehicle scores free MOT history checker and looked at the last couple of MOTs, one where it failed, and one where it passed. I don't know if there might have been one before that. I would have seen that this four-wheel drive Vauxhall Antara, Antara, is it Antara, Antara? Probably isn't a four-wheel drive anymore because it says that the prop shaft from front to rear, I think it says drive shaft front to rear, but it's the prop shaft is missing. Well, why would someone do that? Why would they remove the prop shaft from the car, from the front, from the gearbox to the rear wheels? meaning that it's only front wheel drive now. It hasn't got drive to the rear wheels anymore. Well, usually what happens is the prop shaft bearings in the middle just wear out, especially after high mileage and age, and it starts to wobble and it causes awful vibrations when you're driving. And they're usually quite expensive parts to repair. So what is an easy thing to do is to just whip that drive shaft out, make it a front wheel drive car. You no longer have to worry about that prop shaft spinning, giving you four wheel drive and making any vibrations. It actually saves weight and probably makes the car a bit more fuel efficient, to be honest. It just means that you can never have four wheel drive anymore. And when it comes to selling it, you're gonna have to make people aware that it is just two wheel drive unless they spend money on getting a new prop shaft now and prop shaft bearings so that it could all go back to how it was. And in fact, there was a guy who did this with a, a Freelander one, I think, and he sold it specifically saying it was a four wheel drive with the prop shaft removed. And I think he got done. I got a feeling he almost, he even got prison time or something. It was ridiculous. I'll see if I can find the article and stick that up here. And if I do find it, I'll put a link in the description. But yeah, if you're gonna do that, you're gonna have to make people aware of what they're buying and I hope that it doesn't cause any kind of warning lights or errors in the car just because of that. If not, then she might still be able to sell this for, you know, a small little profit. Just let people know that it's just two wheel drive, but it's still a very handy large SUV type car. So of course I've bought this car from auction. So the auction house will have done a HBI check for me, but if I was buying this privately, I would use one of vehicle scores history checks, you can use either their salvage plus report or the ultimate report to check whether that car's got a hidden background you wanna know about because it will hugely affect the value. Their best report and the one that I think is most worthwhile using is their ultimate report, which is just £8.97. And if you use my code, SHIFTINGMETAL15, you get 15% off and that makes it just £7.62. If you do that check, you're gonna find out whether that car's been through a salvage auction, whether it's been written off and repaired, whether there's any finance outstanding on it, whether it's had any mileage rollbacks, 
and loads more useful information, including a full breakdown of how vehicle scores come to give your car a score. In this case, three out of 999. Sadly, I didn't do that. So let's go and pick Sophie up and let's go and see what we've bought. Here she comes, right, how do I unlock the door? There we go. Key. You've lost another key. You've got a land key. Yeah. I'll use the Jaguar's supreme handling and power <laughs> to get us there quickly. Mm-hmm. That's right. It's a nice car. Thank you. Was my tray placed on the back? Because it was a bit of a crappy magnetic one and we've got police behind us now. So, where do they go? Mm, they've fallen back because they're, they probably figured it's me. If they have seen that tray, but it's, that's, that's Mr. Betty. We don't mess with Mr. Betty. Not yeah. in this town. Sure. Not a pretty big deal. Definitely. Yeah. How are you anyway, darling? I've been telling the viewers about the Antara purchase. You did put that in the watch list, didn't you? I don't think I did. Well. I think it was you. I know I put the bid in, but I thought you'd put it in there. Maybe I didn't. Maybe I thought it would be a good car for you. Maybe and then I, I forgot. Yeah, I can't remember. Mm, I, I don't, don't know either. I don't doing it, and usually I do. But it could have been me. I have been putting some in recently. I certainly didn't do the relevant background checks I should have done. I mean, it looks like it was cheap, but as I've been discussing, mm. I've now done a vehicle score check and looked at the MOT history, and it should be a four-wheel drive, but it's not, because someone's removed the prop shaft. So... You'd have to sell it as a two-wheel drive. So it was that an MOT car, was it? No, it's just an MOT advisory. Oh, that's annoying. But, yeah. It's definitely you that put it in then. Hang on. Why would you suddenly suggest that? Because I have a good quick good looking. Mm. I have. Yeah, normally I would, to be fair. I think this is a mistake of, maybe we need to put a, you could put notes in for the auction thing. Maybe we'd put a name in. You could put your name in if you put it in for the list, and I'll put my name if I put it in the list. Oh no, you just put your name in, and if the name's not on it, then we know it was me, because I put too many in to put my name on. Good idea. Then I can blame you. <laughs> well, I don't make mistakes anymore. Mm. Well, other than the... How how are you getting on with the 4K8? I've got some on view tomorrow. Have you? Mm-hmm. Even with the, I haven't even looked at the smashed in door, we'll get some footage of that while we're down there as well. It's only a door. It's only a door. Oh, it's a bit cold. Have you turned, have you turned it down? You I turned, no, I turned mine down. Yeah, I was really hot. I'm sure I'm. According to the viewers. Yes, well. I did. I don't see brake lights very no, there's well. No, it's braking right in front and you accelerate. <laughs> there were miles ahead. What do you think of the Jaguar? Yeah, I think it's nice. Um, How much was that? Only £6,000. What year is it? 2007. <laughs> Not a surprise then. It's old. Yeah, but it's a 4.2 V8 XK. Like. Yeah, Jaguars. I don't want to sell it, I want to keep it. Let's listen to it. Ready? Lovely. Lovely. Are you going to help me do the ponies after? No. Careful you don't slip off your seat, darling. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, we'll see you at the auction house. Goodbye. I'll park you up and leave you here then. Lovely. Did you bring a tray plate for yourself? No, but I can have yours. You've already got one, didn't you, too? Legally, I do. <laughs> it's over at the far fence, apparently. Oh, there was that minibus that you wanted to, because you thought it was a camper, remember? Actually. Not really. Oh, look, there's my old. We have to. Oh, there's the Antara. But first, my Audi A8. Do you remember the A8? I remember. You tried to sell? There she is. Someone bought her for very little money, I might add. How much? 600 quid. What? Yep. Why so little? Why didn't you put a reserve in? 
I did, and it went through a couple of times, and I just, you know, what can you do? It was... You were just a mug that overpaid to begin with, then. Well, yes, I was. Thank you very much. All right, here it is. Let's get out and have a look. Mm, it's really tidy, actually. It's bad, anyway. Only one key, yeah. There is a service book though. I see. Nice in black, it does look quite clean. Yeah, it looks really nice actually. Did you not just add the 4 by 4 book back in? Well, yeah, but at probably great expense. I don't know how much it would be, but I imagine it was quite expensive, which is why... Oh yeah, I did notice in the pictures they've taped over the third brake light, which means that probably doesn't work. But if you tape over it, it doesn't fail on MOT. Oh, cool. So, we can just put some fresh tape on there, can't we, darling? Yeah. There we go. There you go. Fixed it already. <laughs> oh, it's quite smoky. As in, like, it smells like a smoke. You can see the cigarette burns in the seat as well. Oh, yeah, just one. It smells like an American car. What does an American car smell like? <laughs> it's like when you're in holiday in America and you go in an American car. It just smells like one of those. Do they all smoke? <laughs> Maybe. You're going to fire it up, Maybe see what it sounds like? Car. You probably need to put your foot on the clutch. Sounds all right. Why does so many wooden lights on? I know they're not, they've gone off now. I think you want to clear your screen. What's that? Every car I drive at the moment, it's taken a million years to clear the screen. Oh, because it's just getting cold. Put your blowers all the way up. Okay. Have you put it on the windscreen thingy? Yeah, there's no just windscreen. All right, turn your lights on. I'll check they work, considering it's getting dark. It's got a loose flap. Oh dear. We hate a loose flap, don't we? We do. I'm going to have a look underneath and see if I can... Uh... Can, I I lie on your... can I lie on your coat? Put it this way down. No, I'm joking. I wouldn't be that unchivalrous. No, honestly, it's no, fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, we'll, but we'll cut this out of the video, Toby. Can't really see anything under there, but it's it's definitely not there. So. Uh, See you back at the farm then, darling. Yeah. That looks all right, doesn't it? For, oh, I didn't even think I said, £1,200 plus fee, so it's probably about 1500 quid. Was it just 12? I thought it was 900. I thought it was 1900. No. Oh. £1,200. Yeah, but it's 4x4. Four four. I think I'd keep it, to be honest. Yeah, you've got heat seats as well, look. How much would it cost for you to put the craft shaft in? I don't know, darling. What do you think? I've got an encyclopedic knowledge of parts? Uh, roughly, yes, I do. I will Google it for you cool. later and find out. We'll give the folks an update on Instagram, but let's drive it back to the farm first and see So yes, you drops. Lovely, I will do. Oh, let me put your tray plate on first. Looks like she stalled it there for a second, so hopefully... That's just her poor driving and not, uh, not a fault to worry about. But when you like put in second gear, it, it just keeps stalling. Oh. I feel like something's wrong with it. Maybe the clutch or... I don't know. I think we should drive it. Okay. Well, if I put it in second now, it will stall, do you think? If you're driving it, then possibly. Well, I mean, would it happen if I just try and drive around here? Yeah, maybe. Okay, should I try it? Go for it. Ow. Crack your head on there. Tank of fuel on it. Mm, that's good. So, what are you gonna do? Do you want to drive this for a day or two? You can do, yeah. But... Um, I mean, I got the Jag, mm. so I don't want 
it that bad to work, but I could drive it over the weekend. Okay. See what happens with it. I can just be like fully healthy and be fine with no issues. They all have got a problem or a million. Yeah. Well, that's why I've got a million cars here, and that's definitely auction cars for you, isn't yeah. it, darling? That's why you don't just buy them willy nilly, assuming they're going to be perfect. But for what we paid, I don't think it's going to be too bad. Hopefully not. It'll all be all right, especially if you want to drive it yourself for a little while. Yeah, anyway, that is Sophie's latest auction purchase. Um, not the worst you've made, is it? No, probably not. No. Uh, but there we are. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, where can they follow me? Uh, Shifting Metal on Instagram. Um, you, you don't ever watch the videos, do you? Yes, I do. So what do I say at the end of every video? You can follow me on... Well, Facebook, Instagram, and, and YouTube. Tok Tok. Tok Tok, yeah. Tok Tok. Tok Tok. <laughs> yeah. Don't forget to... Subscribe. And... Like. And comment. Thank you very much. See you next time. Bye-bye.